Hi everyone, so I got Miss Whiskers a new cage. Um, this is not a permanent cage, so don't flip out at me at the comments that, Oh my god, it's too small for him. It's smaller than his other cage. Yes, I know it's smaller than his other cage. It's not going to be a permanent cage. It's just for getting him from point A here in PA to point B down there in Florida. And then once we move, I am putting him back in his other cage, attaching tubes to this cage, to the other cage, and he's going to have both cages. Um, or I might just leave him in that, in his other cage, and get a new ham, and get another hamster for in this cage. I haven't figured it out yet. I don't know. But this cage I got, um, for his traveling, um, it is the Critter, uh, the Carefresh Critter Universe cage or something like that. I don't know. Um, but basically it has four holes up here. Um, these are closed up, and then this one has his water bottle. Um, it's this kind of water bottle, and in the reviews, a lot of people are saying that it leaks. Um, I have not had any problems with it leaking, but it was, like, super low to the ground. So he was having to, and he's a, um, a teddy bear hamster, so he's pretty big. Um, so I guess they made this water bottle kind of more lower for dwarf hamsters. Um, so what I did is just attach some hair ties to it to kind of block it from going down the hole so much, so it's up higher for him. Um, so, yeah, and we're actually going to make it up a little bit higher with cardboard. Um, so, yeah, we just haven't got there yet. Um, but this is the cage. It has the four holes, um, a door up here, which is escape-proof. Um, it has, like, you have to squeeze it in order for it to pop open, but most, um, top doors you don't really have to worry about because the hamster can't really reach up there. Um, it has two side doors, and these are also escape proof. You have to pull the latch over on this little latch, and then the door opens up, so you don't really have to worry about that either. Um, but in here, he has this treat bowl. This bowl came with the cage, um, and it actually snaps on so it can't, um, it can't move around, so... Yeah, um, this is his big bowl, big food bowl, um, that you have seen before. Lady, stop barking. Um, and, yeah, and then this is his little tunnel, which he has bedding stuffed down. Oh my god, I'm so sorry about Lady. Lady, stop! I'm sorry, she's just in a barking mood today. I don't know why. Um, let me move this over here. Okay, and this is the bottom cage. Um, it does have, like, sidings that go up, so he can't kick out the bedding, which is nice. Um, this one also has the latch door like this. Um, and down here he has his house, which he is in. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see him. No. Um, then he has his wheel, and then the tunnel. It is a little crowded down here. Um, but, you know, it's only for travel uses. It wasn't that close to it, um, but he kind of stuffed a lot of bedding behind there to move up his house, so that's why it's so close. And Lady is whimpering. Um, but yeah, so this is, I guess it was kind of like a hamster cage tour. Um, but that's Miss Whisker's new home, and, um, I have his food and stuff right next to him while we're here. Um, this bag of food right here actually came with the house. Um, ooh, it's open. Huh. Um, it's a Carefresh Complete. Uh, long, healthy life, hamster, and gerbil food. Um, it looks like this. So, yeah, I ain't, haven't opened it or anything like that. Um, apparently it got ripped somehow. Um, so. Yeah, so that's what that is. Um, and it shows on the back, like, everything that's in it. And that hamster is so cute. Um, and then over here I have, like, um, his hamster bedding fluffy stuff um and a little bit that's left of his bedding i have to go buy him some more bedding um and that's his treat thing then what um he's up hello hello um and them log thingies right there actually came with the house too i put them in there because um i keep all his treats in there because i don't like to keep them in the bags because when they're open and bugs can get in them and stuff like that so, yes, um, now that he's awake, he sees me playing with the food, and he thinks he is getting some food, and he has food upstairs, yes. 
Yes, you do. Come here. Come here. You want to see the people? Say hi. Say hi, babe. You're grumpy. Yes, you are. You're grumpy. He hates when I touch him after he wakes up. I don't know why. Don't lick the camera. You okay? You gonna try and bite me? There we go. There. Back in the house. Because I'm bugging him. He hates... I, I can never play with him during the day. I have to wait till night time. Because that's what he does. He gets all grumpy. So I don't touch him during the daytime. Um, and this bedding actually came with it, which I'm probably not even going to use. Um, I'm definitely not going to use, just because there was bugs in the box when I got it, and I know uh, Carefresh bedding is known for having bugs in it. I don't see any, um, but, you know, I don't know. I just... I don't want to take a chance with it, but I just left it here to show it you guys, and then I'm throwing it out. Um, it's Carefresh Pet Bedding. It's the, um, you know, the natural one. Looks like that. Um, it's a very, very, very small bag of it, um, compared to, I'll show you. Um, you know, that's his food thing. His big gallon of food. Big tub of food. So you can see compared to my hand, um, it's a very small bag. Um, I don't know how many liters it is. Um, it's 2.9 liters. So, yeah. Um, so that's that. But yeah, so I just wanted to show you his new house because people are asking for like videos on him. Um, and someone had said that I um, need to do videos holding Mr. Whiskers because hamsters do need attention um as i just said i do play with mr whiskers at night um because that's normally when he's up the only reason he was up now is because i was playing around with his house and woke him up and that's why he's crabby um but anyway so um yeah at night i hold him for like an hour um he lays down and watches tv with me then he plays in his ball for like an hour um and then he you know um we let him kind of walk around on the kitchen table a little bit. Don't worry, we sanitize it before and after he's on it, you know. Um, and then, um, you know, he goes back into his house and eats and sleeps and runs around and everything like that. But yeah, so this is his cage. Um, I would give it a... Mm, I would say... 8.5 out of 10. Um, I really, really like the cage itself. It's an awesome cage. Um, it's not hard to put together after you get used to it. Um, putting the sides together is a little confusing, but um, yeah, the cage is really good so far. Um, I've had it for about three days now, two days now, somewhere in there. Um, but anyway, um, the only complaints I have about it is, again, the bugs in the box and um, that the water bottle is too low. But I understand that because um, this ha this cage is for, you know, full-size hamsters and dwarf hamsters. So, um, yeah, that's that. Um, I hope you enjoyed. And don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Alright, bye.